So Trello has been a popular project manager for some time now. Being released back in 2011, it's grown and even acquired by the folks at Atlassian back in 2017 for a whopping 425 million. Now I've been covering Trello for some time now and even embarrassing myself calling their CEO the CEO of Evernote in a live interview. I'm here with Michael Pryor, the CEO of Evernote. Um, no, Trello. Most recently, they've been adding some new features and the last one we actually covered was the advanced checklists that allow you to go a bit granular with the checklist abilities inside of business class and enterprise plans. Today, I wanted to round up the latest features they've added and most recently, a powerful new view called tables and also the possibility of Trello changing their plans, aiming to be more Airtable and Notion-like. Before we move on, this video is sponsored by Pipedrive. We'll share more about the power of Pipedrive and its sales pipeline abilities at the end of this video, but you can check it out in the description below. Okay, so let's get started chronologically. Shortly after the advanced checklist release, pretty much the next week, Trello released a dark mode. This feature was focused on mobile, with a new Butler Automations edition available on the go. Let's start with the dark mode. This is now available on iOS, and from May the 26th is now rolling out on Android 2. In this release, Trello also hinted at beta testing programs that may be coming soon. In addition to getting the dark mode on iOS and Android, you're getting the new Butler automations there. So you'll be able to see card buttons available on mobile. So any rules or buttons you've created on the web or desktop editions will be able to be triggered on the mobile device as well. For example, if you ask Butler to check all the items in your checklist when moving something, it can do that. So you can set a rule on desktop and it will be reflected across all of the platforms. So that was a great mobile release. On June 2nd, they added some very colourful new options. You could do two major things. You can change the colour of a card and also change the full size, colour and background and covers on a card. If you wanted to add a cover that was full bleed across the card, you can go over to cover customization and change this there. Everything down to the text that appears on the card. Now this is really popular for things like team directories. Apparently this is one of Trello's longest requested features. These two additions definitely make the Trello account look way more attractive on desktop for sure. Apparently you can go a step further by making your board beautification a little bit better by adding Giphy stickers to your headers. They also stated as well that the card colors can be used as a way to break up different sections. So they recommended adding a full card color to the middle of your list and dragging cards above and below it to categorize them. So definitely really nice changes and it's good to see that Trello were releasing something every single month. Okay, so the major release you've probably been eager to hear about is the new Trello table view. So have you ever wanted to view your cards from multiple Trello boards across your team? Well, apparently Trello were trying to make this possible so that you can see them all together in one single view. And this is going to be available in something called Trello Team Table View Beta. Apparently the table view is an easy to use feature to see cards from multiple boards across your team into a compact, manageable table format. Apparently you'll be able to simply select the boards you would like to add to the table and the Trello cards will automatically populate. Cards in the table can be filtered by lists, labels, members, and due dates, which I guess could be very useful for trying to see information in a linear fashion. They also state there's other ways you can use them. You can organize large projects across multiple departments in one place. You can provide leadership with high level overview of progress towards company goals. You can keep track of personal and team members workloads and also collect discussion topics ahead of team meetings. And this isn't the only view that Trello are going to release. With the Trello table view rolling out, they also launched a beta program. And what's very interesting is if you go on the beta plan, um, the actual type form for it, 
you can see in question three, they ask you which of these potential new views is most interesting to you. Now, without going through all of them, it's super interesting to see this. So they do and potentially might look to add a few of these features. The first one is dashboard and reporting so that you and your team can see the metrics and visualizations as you zoom out of a project. The next is timeline, roadmap and Gantt view so you can see the start and end to a certain card or a project. The next is a calendar view so you can see things in a monthly or weekly layout which is something I already thought you could do inside a Trello. A table and grid view so you can see the cards selected displayed in a series of rows that can be sorted and filtered. Map, attachments and whiteboard and canvas view. So you can definitely see them looking to take on applications like Airtable and even with that whiteboard and canvas feature sort of taking on applications like Miro. Now, to some extent, Trello sort of confirmed this, with stating at the end of their blog, we look forward to your feedback as we build this first, in quotation marks, in the series of new ways to visualize your Trello data. It's Trello, with, but with a beautiful new view. I think this is such a great move because Trello seemed to get into this position a while ago where I thought they would never change from just a Kanban view, but now they're actually looking at different ways data can be expressed. And that definitely, for for example, long-term Trello users looking at this, um, they look at applications like Notion, they look at applications like Airtable and other project managers that are actually expanding the way that views are working. And they're actually, you know, realizing that a lot of people probably will move from Trello because they'll not only get the Kanban view with the other applications, but they'll get a whole host of other views. So I definitely see in the next year Trello uh, being focused on adding new views. I can definitely see them challenging the likes of Airtable and also uh, project managers like ClickUp and Monday.com. But it's super interesting to see and I'm definitely welcoming this as some good news for the application. So folks, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Here's a little bit more about Pipe Drive, which is our sponsor for this month here on Keep Productive. Before we go, please do make sure to subscribe and it'd be great to hear some of your thoughts in the comments below. Are you in a sales team? Do you manage sales leads? Are you in charge of the sales pipeline? If the answer is yes, then you'll need to know about Pipe Drive. Managing leads, keeping track of communications and managing processes can be overwhelming. Pipe Drives make sales simpler with a host of features to help you stay on top of all the new leads and conversations. Let's hone in on a feature. Pipe Drive's Lead Booster feature is a customizable chatbot that you can add to any page of your website. Lead Booster will engage visitors to your site and send qualified leads direct to the right person in your sales team. Now, 90,000 companies use Pipedrive and deals worth a combined total of over 24 billion have been closed on the CRM software. It's one of the best sales tools for managing incoming leads out there. I used Pipedrive at a previous company I worked with and it was super easy to get on with. There's plenty of ways you can optimize it even further. There was a chap at our work who dug really deep, setting up some fantastic workflows and educating me in the process. Now Pipedrive aims to be your one-stop sales hub. You can learn more about Pipedrive in the description below and start winning deals for you and your team in this easy to use hub. You can go to pipedrive.com slash keep productive to find out more about Pipedrive.